the different districts, such as this one right here with um Shakintori. Do you remember what a Shakintori was? A kintori, a uh, collector, a debt collector. Right. How about Jo no kin? The uh, money that that you have to give up. Hi, and do you know authority. how to read this kanji? I forgot money. Okay, this is osa, osamete. Osamete. Hi, which is to. Give something. Can you read this word for me? Zeking. Hi. So zeking is actually the word that means taxes. So this would not be used if you were referring to the money that uh some kind of mafia boss would take. So this is literally governmental taxes. Zeking. Moni, real quickly. Hi. What is that word that means suspicious again? Uh, there are lots of them. So we learned Ayashi, but the last one we saw was, um, we just saw something. Utagawashi was the one we just saw Utagawa. today. And Ikaga, yeah, Ikagawashi was, um, also, this was, um, more, this is more shady than, um, suspicious. Utagawa. Yeah, so we saw the utagawa right. shige today, and ikagawa shi was used to describe a sakaba. I think on the previous page, actually, I could have just went over here rather than have the that brain thing ikagawa shi. So that's like a shady. Hmm. Ikagawa shi. Do you know? Hi, hi. Do you know what um debt was? I mean taxes. Um, then king, you say? Den... Good guess. Starts with a z. Zay. Zay king. Zay. Zay king. Okay. So let's go read um, the sentence from the book. Itte mireba. Zay king mitai na mono da. Here it could have been monda. But did he say explicitly mono da? He's explaining. Hi. It explaining is... that. Um, he explained that. Ite mireba. And this ite meaning. This ite come from. Iku. No. EU. Hi. If you try to say. You try to speak. No, there's no trying here. That is mireba, right? It's mireba, which does come from miru, which does um give trying meaning to things. Um, this is used to express in a matter of speaking. So, if you were to say, if you try to say it, like as if you're trying to um describe it, kind of. So, so to speak. If you were oh. to say, Zay in mitai na. So, mitai is to try. Na is not. I'm not going to try the Zay in. Is that right? That's a good guess, but that's not really what this is saying in here. Um, our topic um, was the Jo no kin. From the previous sentence. So the previous sentence right. was um everybody has to pay the land of twilight, Joel no Keen. And then um after he said that, he defines this Joel no Keen as to uh ite mireba. Which is if I was to say or so to speak, it's some it's something, this Joel no Keen is something that is ze king mitai. So for me, I probably would just translate this itemiribas basically, even though it's not what it means. Basically, it's John Zeki Mitai. Right. So he basically say, 
That is to say, the tax, it's like a tax. Hi. Exactly. It's like a tax. Mitai. Mitai. It's, it's like something else, right? It looks to be a tax. Perfect. It, it's like a tax. Do you remember how to say um, debt collector in Japanese? Shakin. Shakin tori. Perfect. How about to give to pay taxes? Asamete iru. Close. O. Osamete. Osamete iru. How about this money paid to someone in power? So. Ta. So no king. Hi, Joe no king. And how about actually taxes? Zay king. Perfect. Moni, I have a quick question. Hi, hi, hi. As you keep getting more and more vocabulary, wait, hold on. do you find that your brain start to mix up the different readings? For me personally, not really. Because you remember it kind of as vocabulary words. So I think it makes it easier to know this is Joe no King and Osameru when I went, oh, they, they share it because I, I look more on the meaning than it because this one's obviously single and this one's married. So I don't normally oh, yeah. mix married couples with uh, single couples personally. Um, When you start getting like the different people that have like same different readings, but they're still married, then it does get confusing. And I do make those uh mistakes uh definitely but it is what hi. it is hi hi on this right here i just want I'm you to focus yeah i'm i'm my case is not so much the um the mary version of, of mm. those kanjis my problem is when i start seeing the the single reading uh in 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 verbs you know how verbs have those kanji mm -hmm. and as i'm exposed to more and more verb i'm starting to mix them up like, makes sense like for example osaru osoru kasu mm. misu you know yeah. it's like that i i start to not remember which is it you i'm know? pretty good those, with that Osanuru. and then those adjectives the adjectives mm -hmm. that have kanji uh -huh. Like the early one that Utagawa, Utagawa -si. Utaga she could not remember it to save my life. That was a couldn't. yeah. It's hard when there's like three hiragana characters as well. Hi, it's get hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hi, okay. so it just got a repetition here. It is a lot. So it's... and watch a lot of anime because then you'll be like Utagawa she. I feel like I've heard. I don't know ah, if that shows up so in anime a listen, lot. Listen more. Listen, listen more. more. Hi. Get get what sounds like natural Japanese. <laughs> That's get the sound. Um, yeah, I think so. So yeah, this is your Zinbo. I just want you to stare at that kanji. Um, do you know what this Hi. word means? Naguriao. Naguriaide. So it's it's a compound verb here. Mm. So one is naguru. Hi. The other is aide. Hi. Which is aida. Hi. That's a good way of thinking about it. It's actually um au. And I I believe the de here is um da into te form. If you want grammatical. Hi. Naguri I. I think naguri is like to 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 hit something. Hi. Right. It is to hit. And this owl is I hit, but someone else hits. So mutual destruction is I. So to hit each other means to fight. Naguri I. Naguri I. I. Um, shiharao is to pay. Shiharao, to make a payment. Kind of like osameru. Um, can you read this word up here for me? Nagurareta. Hi. Again, come from the word naguru. Hi. But here is it means 
I was pit. Hi, perfect. Um, how would you put she had out into potential form? And do you know what she had out meant? She had out. Hey, she had out. Now you want potential form. Um, she had out there. She had Perfect. She had out Yep. Edu. Um, on it quickly. Hi. Um, isn't harau by itself means to pay? So harau does mean to pay by itself, but it's a little bit different than she harau. Um, harau kind of feels like you're kind of upset to pay. Um, it means like to pay a bill specifically, like to wipe off the bill. It's kind of like osamedu. We also saw meant pay, but osamedu is specifically to pay taxes. So she had always like generic pay. But had always specifically to pay a bill. Uh, so the generic pay meaning I pay a favor. I pay back somebody. Maybe. Um, you know, payback sure. or something like that. Does that mean? Maybe. Okay. okay. I don't know about that. Or does it mean also in this case to pay money? To pay you can off pay money. It just it, it means like to pay in general, like to pay like I paid for this book or I paid blah blah blah. But the other one is literally you have a bill, right? How do you have a bill? I you owe me five hundred dollars. You're like, oh okay, I have a bill. I'm gonna harate. Um right. Uh, do you remember how to read? Wait, I see you know that one. How about this one? Remember how to read taxes? Zekin tori. Zekin. Zekin. Hi, and how would you put to pay into potential and negative form together? Shihara renai. Perfect. Shihara enai? No, you're right. It was shihara renai. Uh, it, it, wait, N-I. Yeah, it's just, right. it's N-I. It, from N -I. potential form, because it's edu, and yeah. then do is dropped, and it's nai. It's just hard, like, when you're, like, listening and, like, type what you hear. Um, Do you remember how to read this kanji? Oh, yeah. Kanji. I that. Hi, perfect. The, the, uh, the counter, the counterpart. Hi, and how is this kanji read? Dorobo. Hi, 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 hi. So this kanji on its own is a pole or like a club. Some kind of stick object yeah. that you could hit someone with. So what was this kanji, do you know? Bo. Hi, hi, hi. So let's go read our example sentence. Shakin Toreva Shiharae Nai Ai Teo Bo de Naguru So this sentence said the debt collector Hi. um using a club smash the other party who did not pay perfect well and uh, theoretically it's who can't play <laughs> it's potential before who cannot pay hi who cannot buy potential form hi. i'm sorry potential form and i okay who so this is not. kind of a made-up word um can you read this word for me E zekin tori. Hi, zekin uh, tori. So this right here came from shakin tori. Shakin tori, which was a debt collector. But instead, rather than saying um Hi. collecting the money that was borrowed, it's saying it's collecting tax money. Um, this isn't fully a real word. Um. They mostly are using this to illustrate a point, 
So if you say the Japanese, it makes sense, but it's not like in the dictionary as a word. And you can like randomly see things read, but normally, let's say zeikin and this word here will actually just be the verb toru rather than being the noun tori. But uh, it's just kind mm -hmm. of it's basically a fake word. It's like Shakespeare going on right here. Um, Hi. Do you know how to read this kanji? Yatsuni tachi so ni nai. Yaku. It's yaku ni tachi so ni nai. Hi. It seems like a useless. Perfect. Seem, seems useless. And do you know what yaku kind of meant on its own? Whenever we had this like fun conversation about it. Yaku tends to mean duty. Hi, hi. Duty. Perfect. So this word right here, a duty person, is a government official. How do you think you say that word? Yakunin. Hi, yakunin. A person that does their duty. If only government officials were that good. Um, how do you read this word? Chigao. Chigao. Wrong. Incorrect. But you read it right. <laughs> um, what is the te form of... Incorrect. Wrong. You got that. Hi, you got that. Perfect. You got that. And Wrong. now you get to go read this line from the book. Oh, demo. Is this another one of those little phrases that means um? And to put it another way, like kind so of, speak. yeah, yeah, right. it does mean that. Over here, it's Boy, more it. negative than that. So even though I said that, is kind of what it's saying. So the previous line was, um, it's like a, it's like a tax. The, the higure no kimi's um saki, uh the, the the jo no kimi that's paid to higure higure no kimi is like a tax. Um, over here, though, it's saying it's how right. it's different than a tax. Right. To itemo. Igre no kimi no te shita tachi wa. Agebo no gai. No honmono no. Ze kin tori no. Ya. とは違ってとは役人とは違ってしはらえないしはらえない相手をぼうでなくったなぐたりすが I forgot to teach you um, tari. Do you happen to know this grammar point? I just realized this is the first time this has popped up in this book. Nagu, 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 tari, suruga. An example, or he lists an yeah. example of things that yes. would happen. It's It's basically the same as ya, if you know how ya is different than to, but tari is used with um, verbs and ya is used with nouns so it's basically an right. and as a etc for example so they do things like naguru nagutari nagutari tsuru ga so to itemo despite saying that hi even though I say that. Regarding the minions of the Lord of Twilight, um, those yakunin to wa chigatte. Here, chigatte is a verb that means um, chigaru? Chigao. Chigao. Chigao in the te form, in right. the continuous. Um, no, the the the, the continuative. So, say it's the chiga chiga here is a 
is a verb that means to do wrong, right? It what could be used to mean that, but it means like different, right? Incorrect or in this case, it's incorrect. it's different. It's 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 not incorrect. I guess that's that's my part issue. It, it does mean incorrect, um, but in here it's talking about the difference between te shitatachi and yakunin. That's why we have to wa because we have the two was mm. as contrastive was. Remember, wa has that meaning, and then to is here because that's the particle that chigao is getting. So it's the and right. Te mm. shitatachi and yakunin are chigatte. And the next point is how they are chigatte. Hi. So the minions of the Lord of Twilight compare to uh, the minions of the Lord of Twilight is different than or different compared to the official the tax officials of the Honmono, meaning he's the true tax official Hi. of the Don district. Hi. I think we call them tax collectors. Tax. Hi. What are so they? So here, Honmono had the connotation of being a legitimate thing. So, it's so. a Honmono, it's a true. So he is a legitimate official or tax collectors. Let's just all group it as the term tax collectors. He is a, the minions of the Lord of Twilight is different compared to the legitimate tax collector from the Don district. Hi. Then Sugi, the next phrase, it's a shirae nai te ai te o. Um, bo de nagutari suru ga. And the way it is different is being explained as that um, those who could not pay is gonna get nagu, gonna get smashed with the, with the club. Right. However, is that the only thing that's gonna happen so to them? There's more. Hi, hi, hi. Tari. Um, it, it just so it's great. That's it's... one example. They, they, they probably will hit them with the poles and probably some other bad stuff as well. Like maybe they'll knife them or <laughs> throw them in the river. <laughs> who, who knows? Lots, poor, lots poor of options. Their <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> much better to hang out with the Yakunin Disney than the Teshita yeah, yeah, who, who want to I, be hit. All they do is probably throw you in the cell. <laughs> um, and that is where we're going to stop for the day. Um, any questions before?